I haven't made a top 10 list since 2019, uh, November 16th. So I was thinking, why not make another one? And this time, it's going to be with Dead by Daylight. So today I'm going to be showing you my top 10 most wanted Dead by Daylight DLC thingies. Yeah, it's going to be great. Now what do we like most with Dead by Daylight DLC? Well, crossovers. And that's why this list, obviously, is going to be mostly uh, Dead by Daylight crossovers. Uh, if you disagree with any of these, that's your opinion, I respect that. But these are just what I personally want. So, here we go. The first one on our list is Dead Space. Now, I actually have no personal relationship with Dead Space. My reason for wanting a Dead Space DLC is not because of the recent leaks, but because I know for a fact that this would make my best friend very happy. Um, I am actually planning on playing the remake, and hopefully I'll have a better reasoning by then, but for now, this is really all the reasoning I need. Next on our list is Pennywise. Now, people say that Pennywise can't be in the game because we already have a clown. I say bullshit. I mean, come on, it's Stephen King. I feel like Pennywise just deserves a spot by default. Behavior has pulled some strings before, they can definitely do this. Uh, they have tried and tried to get Pennywise, and I think eventually they can. Pennywise just kind of deserves a spot here. Next on our list is Hellraiser. I actually just watched Hellraiser today. The reason why Pinhead is higher up than Pennywise is because I feel like he could transfer better into a Dead by Daylight character. Uh, Matthew Cote even said that Hellraiser is his favorite horror movie, I believe, anyway. Uh, Hellraiser isn't the best horror movie in the world, but it is up there. I did like it. And... I actually could see Pinhead in Dead by Daylight. He would fit just fine. You knew this was coming. You knew this was coming. The reason why Jason isn't much higher on this list is because I feel like he'll get here eventually. I mean, come on, it's Jason fucking Voorhees. We've already got Freddy Krueger, Leatherface, Michael Myers. There's only so much more we can do before we get Jason, you know? He's gonna be here eventually. Just wait. Whether you prefer Chris Walker, Richard Traeger, or Eddie Gluskin, a lot of people are looking forward to an Outlast chapter. Me, personally, I feel like that would be great. Uh... I actually do have a history with Outlast, whether it was watching my player play it and being scared, the huddling up in my sheets when I was, like, 12 or something, or when I was around 16, 15 playing it for myself. This is a great game, and I feel like if Behavior wants to do another video game license, they don't really have a lot of options. Outlast, however, is a great one. Supernatural. Well, I mean, like, you know, we've got Ash vs. Evil Dead and Stranger Things, so why not Supernatural? Um, it's a great show. I haven't gotten very far in it, but, yeah, <laughs> why not Supernatural? Uh, you know, Sam and Dean are very enjoyable characters. I don't know what exactly they could do for a killer. Uh, maybe that Red Demon, I, th I thought it was called. But... You know, even if it was just a paragraph with two survivors, that'd be pretty sick. I mean, if we got a paragraph, you know, I prefer it to be Clementine from The Walking Dead video games, but, you know, uh, Sam and Dean are up there. Up next is House of a Thousand Corpses. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hold on just one second. The, the killer would have to use a gun. 
And while, yes, that is true, I actually have an idea for that. The gun could act similar to the Deathslinger's rifle, with the aiming and whatnot, um, but it would do one health state. Just one. And you would have limited bullets throughout the trial and could not reload. Um, now I know what you're also thinking. Well, then how are you going to damage the survivor the other uh, rest of the time in the trial? Well, use your knife. Now, a lot of you may be thinking now, but Captain Spaulding doesn't use a knife. Well, I'm not picturing Captain Spaulding. In fact, I'm picturing Otis. I think Otis would be a fantastic character to have in this game. Just wondering if Rob Zombie would be okay with that, you know? <laughs> Next up is Child's Play, and before you all crucify me, I know a lot of you say Chucky is too small, or Andy is too young. Well, those would be valid concerns on any other day. Not in my house, sucker! In the movie Cult of Chucky, we see an adult Andy. Problem solved there. Now, for those that say Chucky is too small, he wouldn't be able to carry a survivor, obviously have not seen the movies. He is fully capable of dragging a survivor. And if he just has to hold them over his shoulder, well, then he can use voodoo. They make up bullshit voodoo spells for, like, every single movie. Why not some sort of levitation thing? Chucky would be just fine. Candyman. Now, come on. Why wouldn't we have Candyman? It's... It, well, I mean, first of all, it's not even really horror. It's more of a gothic tragedy. However, I really like that. This movie is more than just your average slasher. It's sad. It makes you think. It makes you feel. This movie is fantastic, and if we could get any version of Candyman in Dead by Daylight, I would be so happy. I haven't seen all of the Candyman movies, in fact, I've only seen the first one, but that would be fucking sick. Come on, guys. Before we get to number one, you may be thinking, what the hell could it be? You listed everything. We got Jason Voorhees, we got Candyman. What more could you be thinking of? Are you thinking of Five Nights at Freddy's? I'm not going to put that shit at number one. But before we get to number one, I'm going to put the uh, honorable mentions right here. Yeah? You good? Alright? Alright. I may be alone in this, but Reanimator. Now, I know what a lot of you are saying. Reanimator is an H.P. Lovecraft short story that was turned into a three-movie series. And it is actually my favorite horror movie franchise that is not yet in Dead by Daylight. Now, the killer, I believe, would be Herbert West. Now, what could he do? Well, his whole thing is reanimating. He's not necessarily a bad guy, he just wants to perfect his serum. So he can defeat death. Uh, cure for death. And he will do anything necessary to get that cure. And he will kill if he has to. So, already there's an idea for his Mori. He could kill a survivor and try to reanimate them. Or, uh, once he sacrifices a survivor, they could come back and they could act like Nemesis' zombies. However, they will attempt to do generators. However, are very, very bad at it. Uh... Herbert's main ability could be placing down reanimated arms, like the Trapper, and when a survivor gets too close, they cling on to you, much like Victor. Well, I don't think Herbert is the perfect idea for a killer, I think he would be a great one, despite not being perfect. Uh, if Reanimator was announced, I would cry out of joy. I mean, I don't want it nearly as much as I wanted Resident Evil, but still, Reanimator would be a joy to see. So that was my top 10 most wanted Dead by Daylight chapters. 
Did I miss any? Are there any that you disagree with? Or even if you agree with them, what are they? I would love to hear your opinions, and I will see you all next time. Maybe in another year I'll do a top ten paragraphs. Who knows? Well, again, I hope you enjoyed, and I see and I will see you all next time. Bye.